Hi, Matt Force here, a British watercolour artist, or artist in general, but more particularly watercolour. Um, if you want to learn how to paint watercolour, watch this video. Here I've got a load of different uh, washes mixed up. Um, I've got some yellows, orange, I've got purple, I've got pure blue, I've got cerulean blue, I've got a couple of greens there, a couple of different purples. So I've got a variety of different paints mixed up. I'm going to demonstrate a really quick wet on wet demonstration. So this is pure water colour, uh, sorry, pure water that I'm putting on. I could tint it slightly if I wanted to see it better, but I'm sort of pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, so on that code, start with the yellow at the top. And what you'll see is the areas where the um, that it's still pure white paper. And we've got dry paper just there. You can hear the brush just scratching it. Okay. Right, switching to um, pure pure cerulean blue. This is or should be. Just wash my brush. So the trick is here that every single, every wash has to be darker than the previous wash. Got water down here, by the way. Um, so I'm just working as quickly as I can. Now shift on to another um, colour here. Now just before I do that, <coughs> this board is at an angle. It's not just an angle, but the, um, that's vertical. Okay. So all the all the paint is running off in one direction. I'm just taking off some excess paint there. Pausing a moment while just for it to dry fractionally. What happens is as the, as the uh, paint dries and you're putting a darker colour on a lighter colour you'll get more control over over the paint so it's moving less on the paper here but enough for it still to be um, bleeding what a word okay it's bleeding it's raining um, and all I'm doing here is simply I'm just mirror, I'm just sort of echoing the colours that go at the top of the composition are getting echoed in the water. Obviously, this water tends to reflect colours. Um, I'm going to dry that up a little bit now. I've dried this up, but it's still wet. It's still wet, okay? But I'm using the same purple. So it's the same tone, but it'll come across darker because there's generally there's less water involved because a lot of it has evaporated. Hope that makes sense. Um, and let's just come up into the top there and put cloud up there. See, it's still it's still moving, which is great. It's perfect. I have to come up with a name for um, just that amount of movement you've got. I think I'm ruining this now, but we'll see. Okay, and dry it again. So I'm still using the same purple, but this is totally dry. Uh, never touch your paper, by the way, as I've just done. So 
So what I'm leaving here is just a little sort of island there. Watercolour is, um, you hear me say this a million times, it's not about what you're putting on, it's about what you're leaving behind. Dry brushwork here. Okay, what's happening here is I'm putting darker colours around this white. This contrast is really um, coming up. Whoops. Okay, so now that's dry, I'm going to come in with a, um, an even heavier colour. Well, a darker purple with a bit more blue in it. So I'm just tweaking it a bit there. I've got my um, test paper there, which you should always have. So what should I do here? I'll just um, pop another tone in there. No, that'll do, and then a little bit more in the in the water. So that's where I'd call the bottom of the painting now is here. All the rest would be written off. So that's the picture there. Um, it's kind of getting a bit heavy down here so I would probably start framing it somewhere in there if that was go ever going in but let's have a look it's all about contrast look how white that white looks simple wet and wet with a couple of um couple of bits of dry work as well there's the cerulean blue at the top look at how the paint's just bled there <clears throat> look how light that island looks it's basically that green is the same as that but it's just because of the contrast of the colours around it that makes it look brighter 